My name is Chris Kaler. I'm an associate professor in the art department here at Eastern Illinois University. Uh, I've been here, this is now my 11th year. I uh, teach in the painting area and also in drawing. I'm the graduate coordinator for the art department and uh, thrilled to have uh, had the opportunity to work with so many students over the years as well as uh, very important faculty. One of the great things about being a member of this faculty is, is that we uh, are comprised of many faculty members that spend a lot of time outside of the school hours as well as um, being actively involved within the system. But we are a very active research-based department. Uh, on that note, uh, that's something that I've been very interested in the years that I've since, since starting here at Eastern Illinois University, very dedicated to the idea of maintaining my own artistic profession as well as uh, working with students and making it the best possible experience for them. Uh, in that regard, I have been in numerous uh, kind of juried national exhibitions as well as galleries uh, throughout the country, primarily here in the Midwest, but uh, I've had very fortunate experience to be showing in Chicago uh, as well as St. Louis. In St. Louis, I uh, will be kind of get back to this point. I've been showing in there for about seven years in St. Louis actively, two different galleries within St. Louis. The shows that I wanted to talk about today that really kind of does uh, occupy most of my research for the last two years has been two exhibitions that I currently, um, I have one that's still up right now in St. Louis, but the first show uh, was a show at the University of St. Francis, the School of the Creative Arts, um, and that's over in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It was an exhibition that I basically had, oh, about five months to prepare for, and one of the exciting things about that exhibition was is that they required me to basically fill up two very large galleries with the opportunity to create a large work for that. Through the generosity of my department chair, Glenn Hild, he allowed me to use one of our painting rooms in the new Doddness Center here, and uh, I was able to create a five foot by 20 foot uh, work on paper that was a painting, acrylic painting on paper, that uh, I did for an intense month uh, for the exhibition. I finished that within a week and a half before the exhibition went up. Uh, the show actually was up August 29th through October 11th here in 2009. And uh, it was a great opportunity to not only show a lot of the current work that I've been doing over the last uh, year, but I also supplemented it with some work that I did. Uh, um, basically, it was like a survey kind of the last three years, with the signature piece being this uh, five foot by 20 foot piece called Bionica. What I used that exhibition to kind of uh, create kind of like an, uh, an impulse to create more and to really kind of push myself, uh, my research then uh, allowed me to really concentrate more in the studio in the, the months prior, you know, after the exhibition to create even more works uh, that were kind of going, ongoing throughout the last year and a half. Uh, the exhibition that's currently up is called uh, Chris Kaler Hybrid Dynamic at Bruno Deve Gallery down in St. Louis. It's across the street from the Pulitzer Art Museum and the Contemporary Art Museum. So I'm, I'm very thrilled that uh, people are having an opportunity to see uh, in the exhibition. We now have 10 works, uh, the, the largest piece being obviously the five foot by 20 foot work on paper, but I also have, uh, what is it, a six by eight foot work, and then about five, five by four works, and the rest are three by fours. Um, there's also a six foot by three foot piece that I think is really quite dramatic. One of the great things about being a professor and an active professional is that it gives you the opportunity to have uh, dialogues that not only occur within your own studio but continue into the classroom. One of the things that, that I think is the essential part of being an active prof professional uh, and an artist and an educator is the fact that everything that I'm thinking about in my studio, all the things that I'm thinking about that inform my work, also come out in the conversations that I have with my students. Not only am I helping them, but they're helping me, and in a way, we're kind of continuing a dialogue that kind of makes it a more circular process so that it's not just me talking down to these students, but in many ways, we become collaborators on their projects, and in some ways, they kind of filter back into my own work. One of the things that we've discovered uh, with many researchers uh, throughout all disciplines is that we discover some of the things that we're thinking about that we talk to students about are actually the things that probably are helping us 
work out ideas in our own studio or our research lab or however you want to look at it. It's a really great opportunity to be able to uh, experience not only creating work for yourself, but really to be creating work that somehow helps make you a better educator, helps make you be a better, more uh, visible researcher out in the field. And uh, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that I've been receiving a lot of critical attention for the uh, current exhibition, and it makes me feel like I'm a little more satisfied with a lot of the things that I've been doing uh, in the studio. Uh, as I said, it's my 11th year here at Eastern Illinois University. The main passion that I have not only in making my own work is really the dedication that I have and the enjoyment that I get from working with graduate students as well as the undergraduate students. Eastern has one of the finest MA programs in the country and I'm absolutely thrilled to participate in that. Not only be involved with the students but have the opportunity to uh, work amongst them. Uh, one of the great things is that here on campus we have our own studios that the graduate students get to experience in and we have faculty spaces uh, available as well in that building. So it really does make a very interesting, collaborative, kind of cohesive working environment that I think benefits us all. I know that I can safely say that my experience here at Eastern Illinois has helped made me a better artist, and I can say the same for all the students that I've had the pleasure of working with.